HMS Prince of Wales hosts 24 UK F-35Bs for first time, the Royal Navy's flagship HMS Prince of Wales now carries 24 UK F-35B Lightning Jets, the largest number ever assembled on either of the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. The carrier strike group is in the Mediterranean for Exercise Falcon Strike, a major Italian-led NATO air and maritime exercise. The deployment follows five months of operations in the Indo-Pacific and a transit through the Red Sea and Suez Canal. Jets from 809 Naval Air Squadron and 617 Squadron will train with Italian, US, and Greek forces in both day and night scenarios. It's the latest in a series of Falcon Strike exercises that began in 2021 to integrate European and US F-35 fleets. The 2025 edition is the first to involve five nations flying together. Additional F-35Bs have joined the carrier as it sails through the Mediterranean on the tail end of the Carrier Strike Group 25 deployment, satisfying a major requirement for the declaration of full operating capability. HMS Prince of Wales is now sailing with the largest air wing hosted on a British carrier in decades, exceeding even the US Marine Corps augmented air wing that deployed on HMS Queen Elizabeth in 2021. Six F-35Bs departed RAF Marham over the last week to head south and augment the 18 jets that have been deployed on the carrier through the bulk of its deployment to the Indo-Pacific. The 24 aircraft deployed come from both 617 Squadron and 809 Naval Air Squadron the UK's two frontline F-35B units as well as 207 Squadron. With 24 jets now on board this allows the usual practice of having 12 jets per squadron. 207 Squadron, the F-35B operational conversion unit have continued their own flight operations from Marham even while a significant portion of the fleet and some of the squadron's personnel are away from home augmenting the frontline units. While being back in the Mediterranean means that the Carrier Strike Group 25 deployment is soon drawing to a close, the carrier still has a full schedule. Through until November 14, the Carrier Strike Group is taking part in Exercise Falcon Strike 25. This Italian-hosted exercise sees fourth and fifth-generation fighter aircraft team up to fly complex missions in simulated contested air environments. Originally taking place in 2021 to improve cooperation between US and European F-35 units, 2025's edition is the first to include five nations Italy, the US, the UK, France, and Greece. While 24 jets was set as the minimum necessary to satisfy the requirements of a full operating capability declaration, the carrier can theoretically accommodate a greater number the exact amount depending on the number of helicopters and stores also carried. The large size of the Queen Elizabeth class was primarily influenced by a desire to vastly improve sortie generation rates and simplify deck handling procedures compared to the preceding Invincible class. This step forward towards full operating capability is welcome news for the UK's carrier strike capability though it still comes at a time when the concept faces several major hurdles. The UK's Public Accounts Committee recently released its report on the UK F-35 program, with a number of strong critiques that target the force's lack of standoff weapons something which we have covered previously as well as the slow pace of improvement works at Royal Air Force Marham, the added burden of the incoming F-35As and nuclear mission, and overall short-term decision-making. By the time of the next scheduled carrier deployment to the Indo-Pacific, penciled in for 2029, the Ministry of Defense hopes that its F-35B air wing will be bolstered with the addition of unmanned collaborative combat aircraft. First Sea Lord General Sir Gwyn Jenkins claimed at DSI 2025 that he intends to see a collaborative combat aircraft concept aircraft launch from one of the carriers by the end of 2026. In the long term there is still the prospect of a major refit which would see the Queen Elizabeth class equipped with an as yet unconfirmed combination of catapults and or arresting wires. These would unlikely be the full-scale examples seen on full catabar carriers like the Gerald or Ford class, but smaller systems that would allow for lighter types, like drones, to be deployed. Deploying collaborative combat aircrafts without these modifications would still be possible, though it is likely to limit the options available. As well as a hybrid manned-unmanned air wing, the Royal Navy hopes to see its ships operate side-by-side -side with unmanned surface and subsurface vessels by the time of the 2029 deployment. In all cases, this is envisioned as a way to increase the force's combat mass while not exacerbating current personnel shortages or funding gaps. 
Italian frigate ITS Luigi Rizzo has joined the UK carrier strike group, alongside Norwegian and British warships, bringing the total force to around 4,000 personnel. HMS Prince of Wales recently stopped in Suda Bay, Crete, where Captain Will Blackett handed over command to Captain Ben Power. Meanwhile, Type 23 frigate HMS Richmond has been conducting anti-submarine warfare exercises with the Greek Navy. Type 45 destroyer HMS Dauntless also visited Suda Bay, where the crew held a remembrance service at the Commonwealth Graves. Daily missions at Falcon Strike 25 are increasing in complexity as the exercise progresses. Early sorties have involved Eurofighters and F-35s in daytime integration flights, moving into a second, mainly night-flying phase in which the F-35s take the lead. Scenarios include real-time threat changes, simulated drone attacks and integrated maintenance, with technicians from different air forces working across each other's aircraft. As the roar of F-35 engines echoes across southern Italy, Falcon Strike 25 marks another step in Europe's growing fifth-generation integration, and in the UK's effort to ensure its frontline jets can operate seamlessly with allies across any theatre. It is fantastic to be back in the Mediterranean after a hugely successful period in the Indo-Pacific and a transit of the Red Sea. The upcoming exercises with NATO allies will be a real demonstration of the warfighting readiness of the UK Carrier Strike Group, said Commodore James Blackmore, commander of the Carrier Strike Group. The eight-month deployment covers over 26,000 nautical miles and engages with 40 nations, reinforcing the UK's position as a leading European power delivering fifth-generation aircraft and carrier capabilities assigned as a primary contribution to NATO. It's the latest in a series of Falcon Strike exercises that began in 2021 to integrate European and US F-35 fleets. The 2025 edition is the first to involve five nations flying together.